them together and also you have a high you need high throughput of data rate it's better to using the uh, for example uh, the three tier the three tier building design don't forget that we have other options for design of a campus but here we are only reviewing the uh, for example more important uh, types because of that until now we have learned about the LAN architecture about the access layer switch the function of the access layer switch and also the distribution layer switch okay now you can understand these terms easily and after that you 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 know the function of the core layer switch and finally you have learned in one campus of network or campus LAN how we can connect multiple buildings to, together the first method is the collapsed core and the second method is the three the collapse core actually is the two level okay or two tier building design we call it the collapse core another name okay but uh, we have the next method three tier okay in the three tier uh, we are using the dual core method or maybe the uh, dual core building design also let me to give you a little information about the uh, structure or the topology of the switch you know that in access layer switch okay in access layer switch we are connecting the switches okay each switch to multiple systems multiple hosts okay actually we can say that in the access layer switch okay between the access layer switch and the clients this is the here we can we have multiple pc multiple uh, for example other devices okay here we are using the star topology okay this is the simple star topology one a centralized device this is the switch and also uh, the switch connected to the other uh, clients but between the switch the access layer switch and distribution we can use a different topology look at here here uh, we have the switch one connected to these two two distribution switch why for redundancy and for uh, load uh, sh uh, sharing maybe one of them one of these links is failed okay we can use the other link here as you can see the between the access layer switch and distribution sw layer switch we are using the partial mesh not the full mesh look at here why you know that here we don't have connectivity between two access layer switch here we we are using the partial mesh partial mesh means only this the switch uh, a to one should connect to some of the uh, for example um, switch such as the distribution layer switch not the other uh, devices but in the core layer in some cases we are using the partial mesh and in some cases we are using the uh, full mesh you know that this is related to the cost and this is related to the requirement some of the requirement and for example in the um, layer between the access and distribution switch okay if you use the full mesh it is not suitable for the network and also it gives it uh, maybe uh, you need to uh, consume more money why because we don't want to send traffic from the PC to the A21, then to the A22. Because of that, it's, it is not recommended to uh, con connecting the A21 to the A22. You need to only use the partial mesh. This means that in all always the full mesh is not better than the partial mesh. Okay. In some cases, partial mesh is better. And in some cases, the full mesh is better. You, you should, as a designer, select, vi select which method is better for your network also here we can see that in access layer switch we are using the star topology and between the access layer and also distribution we are using the uh, partial mesh uh, topology you know that maybe uh, in the access layer switch you think that here in one side we are using a star topology in another side is the partial topology because of that in some references we can see the term hybrid topology the, uh, this means that the access layer switch is working in hybrid topology and the distribution layer switch in for example partial or full mesh topology in the uh, side of the core switch and also in the side of the access layer switch it uses the partial mesh maybe the distribution switch is using the uh, for example hybrid in one side partial in another side full mesh but if in, in all in both sides are using the partial mesh actually we can say that the distribution switch now is working with the uh, for example partial mesh topology 
Until now, we have learned about the campus land, okay, or campus land topologies and some of the terminology that we have in the campus land. Now, let me to give you a little uh, information about the small office home office network, uh, but also let me to emphasize that uh, in the previous videos, in the, the first videos of the CCNA, I have explained the SOHO or a small office home office. Here I'm going to review it. And also don't forget, here is not a class of design. design. We are only reviewing some of the land architecture, some of the terminology. And this can help us for, uh, for example, using this terminology, this knowledge for implementing the scenarios until the level of the CCNA. In future, in the design courses, in the uh, professional design courses, you will learn more than this about the design concepts. Okay, let me to talk about the small office, home office, and also the devices that we are using in the small office, home office, or SOHO network. You know that land architecture is related to the land design, okay, or land component on the enterprise, okay, and also on the smaller places such as the, uh, for example, one simple office with a little number of the employees and also maybe a home this is the soho we call this type of small networks small office home office you have learned about the soho but in soho in most cases we don't use for example the uh, individual router individual switch individual access points maybe individual firewall and some other things you know that Assume that here we have a, a, a small, uh, for example, office. In this office, we have only uh, four employees and we need to have connectivity to the internet and maybe to one of the uh, corporate branch, co uh, corporate main office, okay? How we can, uh, uh, can uh, for example, use the uh, devices, the multiple devices to connect to the internet and also to the headquarters. It is so easy. You don't need to buy one router, one switch, one firewall, one access point or some other things. You can easily, I uh, can, uh, for example, buy only one device such as a, a small office home office router. This is a small office home office router. And in this device, actually, we have multiple device. Actually, this is a a composite device in this device this is not only a rotor this is a combination of multiple device let me to explain the con the uh, component and different part of this uh, small office home office rotor okay for example in this device you know that we should connect this device to the phone line or to the cat v cable okay according to the isp or, or the internet service provider that you have in your area okay and after that this is the internet service provider and we are connecting the service provider to the uh, for example this device after that we need to uh, use some devices um, inside this soho router to connect to the internet for example assume that in our home in our office we have four uh, for example pc and maybe uh, three of them are using the wired network interface card one of them or maybe two of them are using uh, for example the wireless network interface card okay because of that actually we need to have a switch and a router and one access uh, one uh, access point look at here here we have uh, the internet connection for example dsl digital subscriber line and here uh, we have the isp connected to the internet and this is a dsl line okay we need a device with this device okay we can we should have one switch at least one switch because uh, some of the pcs that uh, are working in this uh, soho uh, are using the network interface card with a wired network interface card and we can connect uh, the switch to the uh, for example these pcs okay and also we need one ap or access point you know you know that access points in most cases should connect to this switch uh, for example here you can see that we have one ap okay and this ap is uh, connecting to the uh, free, uh, for example switch and after that the wireless clients can connect at uh, this ap and after that with the ap can connect to the switch or the ds okay this is the requirement of us for uh, establishing connectivity between the wired and wireless clients and internet and also the van here also we have 
as some wireless PC, some wireless client. Let me write here, wireless client. That's it, okay? These wireless clients can use this AP to the connecting 